On the 11th, 1892, the Chicago Tribune ran a story headed Strange Apparition that is now puzzling Florida farmers, transcribed here by Charlie Carlson. A respected farmer named Peterson brings in a curious story of a ghost that haunts his cornfield and plows by midnight. He says he first noticed the apparition about a month ago when sitting up with a sick child. He happened to look out on the field about the hour of midnight, and to his amazement, he saw the figure of a man guiding an ox team over the ground. The animals, the man, and the plow were all as plain to be seen as if it had been daylight, though the rest of the field was in comparative gloom. Not knowing what to make of this sight, he called his eldest son to go and see who the stranger was. The boy went at once, and his watching father was, father was further amazed to see the lad walk right through the plow and the man, as if there is nothing there. When the boy returned, he declared that he had found nothing and nobody in the field. Mr. Peterson himself now resolved to go and did so but he could see no trace of the man and the team in the field, though, on returning to, to the room from which he had seen the sight, he found them to be there as plain as before. The man was dressed in the clothes of a laborer and wore a large, broad-brimmed hat, which completely concealed his features. He seemed intent on his work and never raised his head. When he cracked the whip, he carried over the backs of the oxen there was no noise. Since this time, Mr. Peterson says, he has repeatedly seen the phantom plowman and has called the neighbors to see it with him, though always on going into the field, nothing was found. The people declare that the figure is that of the farmer who owned the place before Peterson bought it and who early one morning was found dead in this very field by his own hand, it was believed.